Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. What I'm about to tell you is probably one of the most significant scientific breakthroughs in the history of the world. It is the ability to create life. It is the ultimate ability of humanity. No other scientific breakthrough has come even close. This technology, of course, then uh, will speak to all of those people who believe that uh, it is not something that mankind should be doing. And that is men having the capability of producing children by themselves. That is, without the benefit of a woman, without the benefit of any sort of input from a woman, nor even, now that we have this next technology, uh, the input of a female host, what we call a mother, right? So there's two technologies that work here. That is uh, technology uh, that produces the actual embryo, right? Produces the actual... And this technology, of course, stems from, no pun intended, stem cell research. To go through the very heart of uh, cellular structure uh, uh, of humanity and in the body, right? Uh, and to generate cells which will readily divide given the correct input. Then introducing sperm cells into that created uh, embryo, uh, which then will readily divide. Now, technology number two is found in robots. So then the robot can uh, carry uh, the embryo, which will grow into the... Uh, uh, child and carry it to term for the entire term of the uh, pregnancy. Uh, this is without any sort of input from any sort of woman. No, no female DNA is present. Uh, and what you have is uh, in a man the perfect DNA for both female and male children. Now, in an effort to, of course, downplay this groundbreaking technology, the media, of course, then only spoke of this in terms of how LGBTQA plus people will have children by themselves. What do they have to do with anything? They have nothing to, nothing to do with it. But... Outlet after outlet after outlet only spoke of it in those terms. They had nothing. They didn't. You, nobody started the research. Nobody funded the research uh, on behalf of the LGBTQ. But that's the only thing that the media spoke about. When in fact they're they're not. First of all, they're not a significant portion of the population. They're not even. They're not even 2% of the population. They're under 1%. So, now, if, if they're under 1% and the funding wasn't prepared uh, on behalf of them and there was no funding forthcoming uh, simply uh, in, in if for their benefit, then, of course, they shouldn't be uh, spoken of. So, this is literally... Uh, the most significant uh, discovery and technology uh, that has come to, to mankind since the very beginning. Now, I suspect that, uh, uh, that uh, they will be able to, to do this, uh, to do all sorts of things with this same technology. That I'm, what I'm talking about is, uh, you know, you can have an endless uh, number of, uh, of uh, dukes, 
and we're talking about your dog. An endless numbers of fifis, an endless number of, you know, uh, it's not just clone technology, it's also uh, having a, a, comp a breeding program to such a degree that you could have perfect uh, chihuahuas or perfect Great Danes or perfect whatever uh, uh, and uh, have a complete structured breeding program to uh, have create the perfect dog. Now, of course, that also means that you can create the perfect human, but I digress. But the part two of this is that uh, the gestation period for the human uh, is carried all the way perfectly to full term. Now, uh, I did a video saying that the largest portion of uh, newborns are birthed to uh, women who are 40 plus years old. That means the people under 20, women under 20, no. Women under 30, no. And women under 40, no. It is those women who are 40 plus are having most of the children in the United States, at least. That, that's the statistic that I have. Uh, so, a very large portion of that. Uh, now, there, there, there's a, a large portion or uh, the problems arise at women having children at the age of 40. You have complications with carrying the uh, child to term to even get it to its birthday, right? Uh, you also then have, uh, is it a healthy child after you have given birth to the child? And there is a very huge complication there to such a degree that it would explain a lot of the issues in autism that that arises uh, out of uh, uh, this sort of thing because the DNA uh, of a woman uh, giving birth at that time is far degraded because uh, quite frankly uh, the DNA is starts degrading at the age of 18. So a, a woman at the age from the time of 18 if not 16 starts degrading so the perfect time to have a perfect baby for a woman carried to full term, I believe, is 16. Uh, uh, 16 is anywhere between, uh, what is it, when she first gets, has the ability, 13 to 16. But of course, in our, in our current society, this is just current. This is not what happened, what was it, not even 80 years ago. You had uh, oh, females having, they were called young adults, they were not called teenagers. The, the whole idea of teenager came to fruition during the American bandstand uh, when they wanted to target uh, young adults. They were called young adults. Uh, after the age of 13, you were called a young adult. You were not called a teenager. And they wanted to target that market for marketing purposes, so they uh, concocted the term teenager. These are uh, between teen and 20. Uh, so 13 to 20, uh, they called them teenagers, and it was the hip new phrase. But before that, they were called young adults. Now, when you call somebody 13 years old a young adult, of course, then you, you have a completely different uh, mindset. Now, biologically speaking, I believe that, what, what is it? It's uh, 16 is the perfect age anywhere anywhere around that age you know around that but uh from 18 on uh the dna starts to degrade and then by the age of 40 actually carrying a baby all nine months becomes a problem so now we have a robot that can do that for you and if you are super rich uh we have hospitals who will offer that service to you so you can have a baby that's going to be carried to, to the fullest extent now so then we go back to uh what are the issues of men having children on their own well that's completely solved by having a robot that carries the baby to full term each and every time 
And there you have it. That is the uh, technology report on this. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to uh, support the channel at paypal.me slash Shikama or in, I'm in the cash app now at uh, dollar sign Shikama. Thank you for watching.